Congratulations on accomplishing and finishing another tech season. I hope this tech season was great for you. And if you're like me, curious about future and what's going to happen to our industry, you probably ask yourself a question. Is AI going to replace my job? Uh, so I was interviewing for this company this week uh, to help AI to do my job and kind of just reviewing it and teaching that software. So I decided to research and look more into it and kind of provide you with my honest opinion what's going to happen in our industry in the next couple of years. So let's dive in. I will start my um, opinion with uh, talking about potential problems that I can see with AI and it's going to follow with you know with uh, great things about AI and then I'll tell you my personal opinion what's going to happen to our industry next couple of years or maybe even next year so let's start with potential problems so I think in general Accountants who are not using AI is going to be replaced by accountants who are using AI because it's an awesome tool, right? Right? It's going to help us out with productivity. Sorry, this is part of why AI is good, but let's switch back why AI is not that great. So the first thing is a potential data leak. Uh, so what it means, whatever we put to AI, which is, can be ChatGTP or any other AI out there, it becomes part of their database and AI doesn't really differentiate what it can share or not share with the user. So it will share that information with anybody that requests that information. So there's lots of news nowadays about, uh, you know, like this data lakes in a huge companies because one of the employees or maybe all of them, or that's just the way they do things, they would put something into database of AI, it can become, become public. So there's not that security of information at the moment. And that can be a problem and that's definitely a problem and with our client trusting us or sensitive information and with IRS rules protecting like even the you know information going um, outsource outsource like internationally or stuff like that I don't see that gonna be that easy to do for security right and the way like it's super regulated industry and things like that so i think that's a problem i see in uh, with implementing ai in general into our uh, pr into our profession but i think if it's us based if they find a way to kind of like not share that information and teach ai not to do it and we potentially still need to sign some kind of documents with the clients that they know we're you know putting it elsewhere and the information can potentially go places so anyway so i think that's a problem i can see with that so i don't think it would be that easy to implement ai like to for every single company also implementation of ai is kind of expensive so small companies and medium companies most likely not won't be able to afford implement ai at least in the near future the old, the huge companies, like a big company, they used AI 10 years ago. They've been using AI five years ago and they keep still using it because they can afford that and they can invest into creating their own uh, things like that, right? So that's the problems I'm seeing with implementing AI in our industry. From a positive standpoint, I truly believe that technology plus people will definitely produce better results than just people themselves. So AI here is not to replace our job, it's just kind of making it easy and automate any job that uh, the person without, I think entry jobs will be um, automated. So any jobs that can be done without degree, without knowledge can be automated. But we all know, right, the text code is so difficult. It's not straightforward. So I don't think you can automate something that doesn't really have rules, right? Uh, and also uh, the clients, they want to create a personal relationship with their tax advisors that they can ask them for help if they ever need that, right? So you can't replace the empathy, the human's connection, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I think in general, tax profession is more about data entry, which 
potentially, I mean, most likely, I mean, it will be automated. But our profession is about the knowledge of the tax code, is about empathy, is about creating the relationships with the clients. So that's a thing that AI won't be able to replace. Projection on how AI will change our industry in the next couple of years. So I truly believe that data entry jobs, the jobs that can be done without a degree, they will be replaced. So in the next, I mean, my projection would be two, three years that data, and we won't be doing the data entry anymore, anymore in the tech software. So I think each tech software out there will have their own AI. So we're going to just upload documents. It's going to like put numbers in the different places and we're going to be reviewers. We haven't really seen many changes in AI automation kind of thing in our industry recently, but the changes are coming and they've been there before. Like even like five years ago, I was using some kind of AI doing that kind of stuff. It's just uh, more that um, small and medium companies are not able to afford it, but big companies do. But did it replace my job? Not at all. I think I'm getting more job more work that I had before and also the work itself became so much more interesting because I'm doing review, I'm doing analysis and even I'm, I'm not the first level reviewing the tax return. I see I still have the person who used to do data entry reviewing data entry entry and then I'm reviewing the, their job, you know. So I think it's kind of exciting. It's very challenging, but exciting times we're living in. But in general, I think it's going to make our jobs so much more interesting because as you and I know, tax professions, it's not about data entry. It's about analysis. It's about tax code. It's about building that connection with the client and delivering the value and knowledge for them, right? And that's something now technology can take it from us. So I would suggest uh, come up with a plan. How are you going to use AI in your, in your company for yourself? How are you going to make your job easier? And also make sure, meanwhile, while we are waiting for changes and the changes are coming, make sure you invest time in yourself, in your education, in CPEs, in like developing your practice, building a really good connection with the client so you can provide them advice, not on like a basic information, you know, basic situation, but on unique situations that need analysis, that need help, right? So, you know, like I said, challenging times, but super exciting times as well. So, you know, if you, I think it's going to be awesome. So if you guys want to receive like updates for me on AI, anything related to text changes or AI technology changes, please sign up for my email above and just, uh, you know, comment below if you have any questions and what thoughts you have on AI entering our industry. Have a great October and I talk to you soon.